Hey Bearcat fans, welcome to another edition of This Week in Bearcat Athletics. So the Northwest football team, they'll host another semi-final this weekend, and Bearcat basketball splits with Missouri Western, including the men remaining unbeaten. We'll have more on that coming up on This Week in Bearcat Athletics. Northwest Missouri State's football team will host another semi-final playoff game Saturday when Ferris State comes to Maryville. The Bearcats advanced with a shutout win over Harding University 35 to nothing at home last Saturday. After four teams secured spots in the national semi-final, the teams were reseeded and the Bearcats took the top seed with Ferris the number four seed. Shepard, last year's runner-up to Northwest, was seeded second and North Alabama was seeded third. Those two will face each other Saturday as well. The win for Northwest extended the Bearcats' school record winning streak to 28 games. The NCAA record is held by Grand Valley State at 40 consecutive victories. Saturday's game will mark the first ever meeting between Northwest and Ferris State. It is just the second time the team out of Big Rapids, Michigan, has reached the semifinals. And last week's win for the Bulldogs at Grand Valley State was the team's first road playoff win in history. Also this week, Northwest head coach Adam Dorrell was named the Super Region 3 Coach of the Year, making him eligible to be selected as National Coach of the Year for a third time. Saturday's game is set to kick off at 2.30 at Bearcat Stadium, with the winner advancing to the national title game in Kansas City one week later. Northwest Missouri State's men's basketball team remains unbeaten after beating Missouri Western Tuesday night at home. The same day, the team jumped to number two in the NABC National Coaches Poll. Anthony Woods led Northwest in scoring, finishing with 19 points. Justin Pitts dropped in 18. Devontae Mosby was also in double-digit scoring with 10 points. Included in that was Mosby surpassing 1,000 points scored in his collegiate career. Bearcat head coach Ben McCullum says the success of the team Tuesday started on the defensive end. Well, I think defensively we came out and were really concentrating and got the stops we needed to, took away their shooters. Um, and then, you know, after we got the, the big lead, I don't know what we were up, 18, 19, 20, somewhere in that range in that first half. I, I thought we, we coasted. I thought we got to about 85 and didn't go much above that. And, and uh we need to get to 100% a little more consistently, but you know, I thought defensively they did a pretty good job in that first half. They kind of muddy up the game and kind of clog things up. Uh, second half we exposed some of that and did a better job executing offensively. Defensively we weren't quite as good, but the the thing with that is when they're when they're down, you know, it makes it easier to hit shots. And so some of that's just the natural they hit shots, and some of it was, you know, we were at about 85%. The Bearcats will be back at home this weekend when they face Central Missouri at Bearcat Arena. The game, originally scheduled for Saturday, has been moved to Sunday afternoon because of the Bearcat football playoff game. Tip-off Sunday is set for 3.30. After winning the first five games of the year, the Northwest Missouri State women's basketball team has dropped four straight after a 72-58 loss to Missouri Western Tuesday. Northwest head coach Buck Scheel says they had been preparing for a physical team with Missouri Western, and that is what they saw from the Griffins Tuesday night. It was. You know, the biggest thing I told them these last couple days in practice, to beat this team, you have to match their physicality for four quarters. And it was pretty evident from the start of the game and even more so again in that fourth quarter that we didn't do that. You know, we dug ourselves a hole early, right from the start, and could never get out of it. Could never match their physicality. And in a team like them, in a rivalry game, you have to, because that's how they play. They're very physical, they're very scrappy, and if you don't match it and you back down, they're gonna beat you. Coming back from injury, Tanya Meyer came off the bench and scored a game-high 31 points in 32 minutes of action. The Bearcats will look to get back on the winning track when they face Central Missouri Sunday. Tip-off is set for 1.30. The Northwest Indoor Track and Field team will get the season started this weekend as well with a trip to Kearney, Nebraska. They will take part in the Charlie Foster Pre-Holiday Classic. It will be the only meet they compete in before the turn of the calendar. That's this week in Bearcat Athletics. For producer Andrew Sherry, I'm Matt Gorder.